the last step for painting. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much done. The visor looks like it's in, but it's just a test run, and I'll make another video on the visor. Um, so with the final painting, you want to paint everything. Um, I had a lot of trouble with the mouthpiece, with the silver I used. Every time I touched it, didn't matter if it was a two days, five days, it would scuff. And I didn't want to buy any new silver, so I just clear coated it over it once it drew, dried. Um, it's not the same as what the show had, because the show is more of a chrome. But I actually like the, the silver that I have now. Um, when it goes into the sun, it will sparkle, so it still has that metal flake to it. Um, now, the problem is there's not a lot of videos um, showing you how to paint or what you should do to paint. So I did a lot of trials and a lot of errors. Um, the correct color, just for the red one, is you want to start out with first a primer, then the black. After you do the black, you want to mask off all these lines that you're going to have for the detail lines and masking tape. After that, paint the whole helmet red, um, mask it off again, paint all this white. After you're done with that, then paint silver. That is the correct order. Um, the order I did with this one was black, white, silver, red, and it did not work the way I wanted to. Um, so I pretty much repainted this whole helmet, especially like right here. I didn't realize until looking back at images that there's actually red paint in between every single tooth and around this lip. So that was a pain. Um, that's why you should paint it red for the, as a second coat, because that second coat will get in between all those teeth. So I pretty much repainted this whole helmet at least three times because of that. Um, but yeah, so far it's looking good. Um, now there was some of the pinstriping that didn't really work out, and I'm kind of glad it didn't. Because around the mouth it was a lot thicker, and I'm sure there's another video showing how thick it was, and now it's pretty thin. And then around the teeth are actually pretty thin. What I did was I didn't use a brush. I actually bought a pen marker right here from Hobby Lobby, and I just got black. Um, it took me a while to actually figure out how to use it really well. Luckily, because I repainted this whole helmet, I mean, all those mistakes are now gone, and I'm pretty happy with the process. Also, with the class, no matter what you do, there's going to be wear and tear when you actually close it for the first time. So, the bottom pieces I'm not too worried about, and I might actually just take a Sharpie to it. Or a model paint once it's fully closed to fix that. Um, I even tried spray painting it red, then clear coating it, hoping that the clear coat would give it more protection. But because it's metal on metal contact, you're going to get that paint chipping off. So pretty much that is the whole paint. And then after you're done, you want to clear coat the whole thing, as you can see. Um, the only problem I'm having is when I close the claps, this little gap opens up a little bit because you have all the pressure here. So, I'm going to put straps on the inside, and uh, I like the straps too, because when I put the helmet on, it's going to be two pieces in one instead of two separate pieces, and I think it's going to be easier for me to actually get my head in. Um, I'll probably do a separate video how I'm going to do that. I'm thinking Velcro with elastic straps, um, and then I guess I should just do the visor uh, video for this. Um, because I got the helmet kit from Eric0101 Cosplay, um, he had an option of the visor coming with it, and it was pretty much a full sheet of thin plastic that's tinted. Um, if you don't get one from him, you can always go to Hobby Lobby, buy the plastic, and just tint it yourself. It's in the model aisle, so yeah, it, just figure out the thickness. Um, I've seen a lot, especially with the Pepecura stuff, I've seen a lot of people use motorcycle visors. Well, the problem with the motorcycle visors are you're not going to get this round shape. Even though this is like real thin plastic, you can see it bends. That doesn't matter. It doesn't because when are you ever going to push on the visor when wearing it? So it's not really a visor. It's just a thin piece of tinted plastic. Um, what I did was to actually do the visor, I took the piece that was already cut out from the visor and I mean, if you're doing the stunt cast, you won't have to do this because the visor will already be on there. Um, you're just going to drill holes. So what I did was after I cut the visor out, I kept the visor piece as um, a mold for the visor. 
um, all I did was take a piece of cardstock paper, I taped this onto the cardstock, and then I traced it around it, but I made sure to give it extra room so when you put it in the helmet, it's going to be thicker. And what you get is something like this. Um, and as you can see, if it stops messing up, as you can see, it is a little bit bigger than the original template. Um, the reason I made it bigger was you could always trim it to fit what you want. After I taped it and cut it, I took this piece, I took my plastic piece, and all I did was take two pieces of tape, tape it on, and this stuff actually cuts pretty well, and all I used is regular scissors. So it wasn't too bad. Um, and like I said, right now it looks like it's installed, but it's just masking tape holding it. And the nice thing is if you're having trouble breathing, I kind of want to keep this bottom layer kind of free. I don't want to glue it completely. As you can see, the plastic's coming off, or the tape's coming off. But when you wear it, it's very hot and hard to breathe. It fogs up. So you probably want to use um, that Rain-X anti-fog on the inside. But I kind of like the fact that you can push it in a little bit to breathe. It's really up to the person um, what they feel more comfortable with. So I guess I decided just to do two videos in one instead of uploading two. Um, like I said, once the visor is fully installed, I'll show the back of that and how it looks on the inside of the helmet. I'm thinking hot glue would probably be the best because you can put a little dab here and there and it won't actually spread onto the visor. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Like I said, there's not a lot of videos of how to do this, so it's all just trial and error and hopefully these videos help. Um, yeah, if there's any questions, just feel free to leave some uh, comments in the comment section. And uh, I hope to try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, so yeah, hopefully the next video is the visors installed and the strap system. So until then, later.